Hello. Hello everybody, welcome to Sharing Assembly. I hope you're all well, I hope all your families are well. Oh my goodness, we've had 43 pieces of work set in today. I'm like the most excited I could possibly be. And on top of that, we've had some children who I have never met before send some bits and pieces in. So I'm so grateful to you all. Thank you so much for joining in with this little community, whatever this thing is. Um, and to avoid this being 20 hours long, let's go for it, shall we? So this is Huzefa. He has sent in a fantastic acrostic here. Oh, hang on a second. I've lost him. There he is. He's sent in this amazing acrostic all about London. Now, Huzefa is seven and already look at his absolutely incredible writing. And it obviously runs in the family because Huzefa's sister, Hurain, has done this absolutely beautiful healthy eating diary. She is five. Look at her handwriting. Oh my goodness, I'm so impressed. And what a fantastic thing to do during lockdown is to keep a track of all the things that you're eating. I know that I've been eating too much chocolate and cake, so perhaps this is something I need to do as well. But Hooray has done this absolutely beautiful job. She's keeping an eye on how much water she's drinking, how much fruit and veg, and she's doing that in her absolute amazing handwriting. Well done, guys, and very nice to meet you. Thank you very much for getting on board. So Isaac, Ashley and Joshua have been out in the garden again this week. And I had a really close look at their pictures and they've been collecting things on a scavenger hunt and making them into animals. I don't know if you can see this, but we've got birds and we've got lions and they're all made out of leaves. You guys need to look at the artist Andy Goldsworthy. He does stuff like this and he makes a fortune out of it. So boys, get your stuff in the Tate Modern and you know, you never know, do you? Well done. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. So Every Thursday, I hope like me, you've been going outside and clapping the NHS. Um, and, you know, we've all been thinking about how grateful we are, aren't we, to all these amazing doctors and nurses who are looking after us. But look at this tribute that Colin has made. It's outside his house. He's made an absolutely fantastic wooden sign, which is decorated with fairy lights. Hang on. Oh, there we go. And he's put it up outside his house. Now, that is an unbelievable effort, Colin. I'm so impressed. And I might have to up my game, I think, on a Thursday so that I can be like you. Well done. Um, and this, now I know a little bit about this. This is Alicia and Fraser. Now, those of you who've ever had an art workshop with the wonderful Nikki Redgewell will recognise the style of this painting. So we did, in school yesterday, with all the key workers, we did a live workshop. Now, if you haven't done one of these yet, get on Nikki's website because all of the past Facebook Live things she's done are on there and they're amazing. And I mean, look, Fraser is in reception and Alicia is in year two and look at the quality of what they've produced and oh, we've got Nikki to thank for that but guys you persevered so well they were painting for two hours that's incredible concentration isn't it and what a set of results well done now Phoebe and Jacob have been exploring now I bet that lots of you have found some new places in your local area going on your walks and what a beautiful place two rope swings now, I think I've been here before and there's actually lots of fossils in the river as well. And the weather's going to be amazing next week. So I wonder if next week at Sharing Assembly we'll have lots more pictures of, of new places that people have discovered. This is Scarlett. Oh, look what Scarlett's making. Oh, she's making an absolutely delicious pizza. That's incredible. I want to eat some of that. And I just love her happy, smiling face. Scarlett, you are always smiling and you are such a beautiful girl. Look at Neve. Neve's been exploring as well. I want to know where this is, Neve, because I'm assuming this is somewhere near where we live. This is not somewhere I've ever been, but it looks fantastic. It's like a sort of, I don't know, like a little Ford. Or are we... send me a message and let me know, Neve, where you were when you found that. That looks amazing. Thank you for all the comments that are coming up. I can see you all there. It's lovely to lovely to see you all. But I'm in my zone now. It's hard for me to read and talk at the same time. James has been doing a sporty challenge, which I bet has got something to do with Mr. King, and he is practising bouncing his basketball. James, I'm also loving your lockdown hairdo. You're looking pretty, pretty smooth there, I've got to say. That's excellent skills from James. And this, look what Ronnie found. Ronnie has found a badger skull. That's incredible. I want to know if you've cleaned that or whether you found it like that, because we found a few skulls recently on our walks, and I'm telling you, they haven't looked that pleasant. That's amazing. I bet you found out loads of facts as well about badges. Perhaps, Ronnie, you are the, the next David Attenborough. I'll watch this space. This, this is stunning. <gasps> so this is Nate. This is Nate's model of the Titanic. Have you ever seen anything so impressive in your whole life? That's absolutely incredible. 
I'm assuming, looking at the box behind it, that it's all come in tiny pieces. And Nate has carefully built that from nothing. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, Neve was down the bridal way on Cheltenham Road. There we go. Right, that's I'm, I'm going to go and try that out for one of my walks. So the Titanic is an amazing thing to find out about. So much information that I bet Nate's learnt. But what an absolutely incredible model. You'll keep that, Nate, until you're an adult. And you'll be proud of that. Because I don't think that many grown-ups could produce something quite as spectacular as that. Well done, you. This is another thing that I'm quite jealous of, actually. So this is Isla. Now, I believe Isla's in year two, which means that she must be six or seven. And she can do Sudokus. I can't do those, Isla. I have had many times where I've got very frustrated with myself when I've tried to do these. So the fact that you can do that and you're so young, well done, Isla. What an amazing skill to have learned. Fantastic problem solving there. That'll put your maths in really good state. And Anya has been, mm, look at that, oh, baking bread. Do you know, my husband loves baking bread and he's really good at it, but Anya, I've got to say, yours looks particularly dicious. If I could, if I could reach out across the screen, Anya, I would give you the Hollywood handshake right now uh, and make you star baker, because that looks amazing. This is incredible as well. So this is Nikki's son, Stan. Stan has been making this amazing aeroplane. I oh, was incredible, isn't it? So he's made that from scratch. So he's measured all the bits, he's stuck it all together. What an incredible DT project that is. I want, did you just come up with that idea yourself? Or was that something you did for school? Or whatever, it looks absolutely amazing. And I hope you're gonna keep that somewhere really safe and look after it, because that's something really special you've made there. Now, we've had lots of poems sent in this week, which is awesome, because we did a bit of poetry last week. This is Annie. And it's a double whammy because Annie has written a fantastic haiku and it's about her happy place. And this is Annie in her happy place holding her haiku. So if we go to the next page, we can read it. So, the best place to be, swinging over the river, having so much fun. And she's decorated. I think that's lovely, Annie. What a fantastic thing. And that will be a special poem that will remind you of all this, this amazing time you're having outside and learning so much with your friends. And this is Ivy. This is Annie's sister. And she found a caterpillar out on one of her walks. And she's taken it home and put it into one of these butterfly nets. And she's going to look after it and see if it grows into a butterfly. Ivy, you need to keep us posted on that one. I want to know what happens. Okay, and if you do, if your caterpillar does turn into a butterfly, we, we definitely need to see a picture of that. But well done. What an exciting thing to do. Now, this is Lexi and Leah. Now, these are two people I've never met as well, and their mum's been sending me messages and showing me the wonderful things they've been doing at home. So I'm so proud to be able to share your work, guys. This is amazing. So Lexi and Leah, who are 7 and 11, have been timing each other doing things and keeping track of the times in linking in to all the work that we've been doing this week on timing and seconds and minutes and hours. And their mum said it was particularly special because it was an activity they could do together that showed amazing teamwork. So well done, girls. That's really brilliant. That's another lovely skill. The math is wonderful, but the fact you could do something together is really special as well. Now, I really like this. So this is Ella Rose and Betsy, and they've been doing some amazing geography. They've just found out so many fantastic facts about the United Kingdom and New Zealand. But the reason that they've been doing this is because actually Betsy and Ella Rose hold British and New Zealand passports. So what a fantastic thing to find out a little bit about, about your heritage and about your background and, and put it all down into these beautiful posters. You girls, I've been watching what you've been doing this week. You have got the most incredible ideas. I am going to steal some of the things that you're doing because it really is amazing. And I really hope that that's, this is helpful to all of you from that because I am pinching so many ideas from things that I'm seeing at Sharing Assembly. And I hope that when you guys are having a dull moment and you're struggling to think of things to do, these might give you some ideas. This is one of my favourite things to do. So Jude and Darcy have been doing stop animations. And again, brilliant teamwork, brother and sister there. And they look like they are really, really busy. And we can see that they're using different figures to create their animation. When you've finished it, guys, will you send it to me so that I can see it? Because I would love to know what, um, how this all goes down. Because stop animation is such a brilliant thing to do. And you get such amazing results. Another fantastic poem here. A sanquain, thank you, Charlie, for helping me to uh, pronounce that correctly. So a sanquain is a poem. If you want to have a go at writing one of these yourselves, we've made a video of this really, really, um, yeah, we, uh, last, was it last week? Yeah, last week. And they're just such easy ways to get, to get writing. And lots of people have had a go, and it's so lovely to see what you've been up to. So this is James's amazing sanquain about a frog. In fact, shall I try and read it to you? Slimy and green, 
Croaking, jumping, swimming. I don't want to hold one. Tadpole amphibians. That's some amazing science language in there as well and a wonderful feeling. I also, James, would not want to hold a frog. So you and I are in the same boat there. Well done. An absolutely beautiful picture too. I bet you can all guess who this is. Now, I can remember that when I went to see How to Train Your Dragon, I needed the toilet the whole way through that film. I couldn't leave the cinema. I just loved it so much. And when I came out, I was so sad that I would never get to own a dragon. So James has managed to make his own dragon to go on the wall. So, kind of, so that's like his own dragon. I think it's just beautiful. You can see a mile off who it is, can't you? And if you look at the collage that he's done, the pieces of paper are just tiny. So the amount of effort that's gone into that is absolutely huge. I hope you'll keep that up on your wall, James, and celebrate that. It's a really beautiful thing to make. Now, anyone who knows me will know that I'm a little bit frightened of horses. They're just so big. And so I'm so envious of all of you wonderful people who send in your pictures of horse riding. You're just incredible. It's such a brave thing to do. But Ava's not only riding her horse, but she's cantering. Now, again, from my limited knowledge of horses, I think that means she's going pretty fast on a horse. And your mum said, Ava, that you, you fell off this week. So that, oh, well, that makes me shudder. But well done for you for getting back on your horse. And you can see from the big thumbs up there that she's obviously not been put off in the slightest. Well done, Ava. That's amazing. Oh, we've got a video here. Hang on. Yay! Well done, Sylvie. That's really, you are really bendy. That's beautiful seeing you do your fantastic gymnastics and the fact that you're getting outside and doing it is really wonderful keeping yourself fit and busy during lockdown thank you so much for that video that's amazing got another amazing horse rider here this is fern hi fern she's got her beautiful horse and i particularly like look look at the horse's beautiful buttercup uh headband shall we say that's absolutely lovely fern and fern's been doubly busy because she's also been doing some maths with Roman numerals. So well done, Fern. Do you know what? I think I said this a couple of weeks ago that uh, for, um, I think it was Lexi, did some Roman numeral maths. And then a week later, a quiz question came up whilst I was doing a quiz with some friends and it was about Roman numerals. So I have got you to thank for knowing about that. So thank you very much. Like I say, every week I'm learning so much more the amazing work you're showing. Thank you, Fern, for fabulous maths. Now we had to look at this picture quite closely. This is May and my girl said, she got a dog. And then we look really closely and he's a gorgeous chicken. Look, May, you'll have to let us know what your chicken is called because he's absolutely gorgeous. And it's just lovely to see you guys outside helping look after your animals. What a wonderful thing to be doing during lockdown. Well done, guys. Oh, Evie, I love you, Evie. Look at Evie. She's at home in lockdown and yet the thing she, I know she's been doing absolutely incredible work at home and the thing she's so proud of is the fact that every day she's been doing her spellings. Five out of five there Evie and Evie, don't think I haven't noticed that, that beautiful handwriting as well. What a difference. Just keep it up mate, you are doing a fantastic job. I'm so proud of you because doing all the fun things is easy isn't it but getting to grips with things like spellings and sticking with it is much much harder so Evie I'm very very proud of you, well done. Beautiful Georgia here, that's Evie's sister. She has been doing some fantastic money. Now I've been picking Georgia's mummy's brains for ideas for my little person, because I'm a bit more older children focused. But she has been matching amounts of money to all those different number cards. Do you know what, Georgia, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna see if I can get mine doing that next week, because that is a fantastic thing to do. Well done, girls. This makes me shudder a little bit as well. So this is George and Lara doing forest school, but this is proper forest school, guys. This is not, not a bit of den building with a few sticks. They've got saws, look at them. They are sawing away at that wood and making all sorts of amazing creations. And their mummy is a teaching assistant at school as well, which is why she's got such fantastic ideas. But what a brilliant thing to do. I'm a bit scared to try it, but I feel like I need to get over my fear and get the kids with some tools. What a brilliant thing. And Ollie, we are so proud of you telling the time. Now I say this every week, this is such a hard thing to do, but once you've got it, what a brilliant skill to be able to have. And Ollie's mummy said he's been working really hard and he's tried and he's tried and he's tried and he hasn't given up until he's absolutely got it. And look at his proud face there. He looks fantastic. Ollie, we, are, we salute you for your fantastic telling the time. And it's talking about idea sharing. Ollie's also made one of these amazing plaster cast hand prints. I think that was from Hetty and Rupert last week, wasn't it? What a lovely souvenir from lockdown. But look, this is the bit I like best. Oh God, this is 
Ollie and Noah's baby sister that's yet to be born also featured on there. So guys, you are going to be the best big brothers ever. And what a wonderful thing to do. Thank you for sharing your work with us. Now, lots of people doing lots of lovely creative things. Lots of people doing some amazing maths. We've got wonderful spellers. But look what we've got here. Manual labour. Look at this. Hetty and Rupert are helping their dad lay a patio. Now, why didn't I think of that? Now, I'm trying to think now of all the DIY jobs that I could try and make my children do. But you guys are so professional there. What a fantastic skill you're learning. I just think that's great. Get the kids involved with all the stuff that's going on. Wonderful, guys. You do some incredible things. I love seeing your pictures. Now, before we think that Phoenix has been beaten up over lockdown, just to clarify, Phoenix had a nasty tumble off his scooter, which is why he looks a bit rough. But look, so whilst out clapping the NHS, Phoenix managed to have a lovely cuddle with some puppies. That's absolutely gorgeous. And we saw, didn't we, what Phoenix was up to last week. I hope you've been spreading some more joy with your rainbows, Phoenix. We're very proud of you. And what a brave chap you are, because that was a nasty smash. This is beautiful Lexi here. She's also been getting involved with all the things around the house. What a great idea. So she has been helping everybody cook the dinner. And the comment that she put on her picture was that she doesn't like cutting onions because it makes her cry. You and me both, Lexi. I can relate to you there. Um, I'm guessing that you're, maybe you're making a spaghetti bolognese. Is that what? Oh, yeah, I can see it at the end. There we are. Oh, that is one of my favourite teas, Lexi. And yours looks absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, this is Jamie. Jamie has shared another amazing acrostic, more beautiful writing, and it's his lockdown acrostic. So let's see if we can pick some ideas out. Oh, that's a lovely one for Kay. Key workers working so hard. What a wonderful sentiment. I hope you guys are all right and your families. Are doing, and what I'm really proud of you for getting some writing done, Jamie, and thank you for sharing it with us. Play-Doh. Love a bit of Play-Doh. This is Rosie. Now, she has made a fantastic cup out of Play-Doh. Rosie, you need to get on the pot, the, what's it, the Great Pottery Throwdown. We started watching that a few weeks ago and we got a bit obsessed with it. And now the girls really love playing Pottery Throwdown where I have to give them a challenge and they have five minutes to make their best version of it out of Play-Doh. But you are all over that. I love the handle in particular. That's fantastic. Now, do you know why Grace is such an amazing scientist? Because she said in her post, that her science kept going wrong, but they just had to keep changing the experiment to get it right. Now, that's what science is all about, isn't it? And I love the fact that you have done an investigation that we did, but you've done it better than us because Grace did her uh, capillary action experiment in three different ways to check on fair testing. So she didn't just do it with a kitchen roll. She did it with kitchen roll, baby wipes, and I think toilet roll to find out which one carried the liquid the best and I think was the result that the toilet roll was the best one. Well done Grace, that's brilliant. If you haven't had a go at this experiment, have a look again on our YouTube or whatever. Um, there's The capillary action one is brilliant, it's about watching water move uh, up a solid and you can create rainbows and you can make the liquids move and create all sorts of amazing colours. Have a go if you haven't done it, it's a really easy experiment to do at home. Well done Grace, I'm really impressed with your scientific thinking. And that's everybody. 43 fantastic children. I am so, so proud of you all. You've done absolutely amazing things. And I hear that next week the weather's going to be incredible. So I'm sure we'll have lots of wonderful outside things to share. Guys, please keep sharing the word. Tell other people. I'm so, so happy to have children that, that go to the school that I work at, to have children that don't, to have children from all around the country. Let's see if we can get somebody from another country to share some work with us. Just keep yourself safe. Look after yourselves. Enjoy this wonderful time at home and keep sending me your fantastic work. I just love having this opportunity to share everything you've been doing and I'm so, so proud of you for your fantastic effort. And parents, you are doing a sterling job. So well done to all of you. Have a fantastic weekend. See you next weekend. Bye.